guys, my name is Safi Sprocket and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're watching this, I'm currently traveling on the road to raise money for the charity, the Northwest Air Ambulance. Now, I'm currently joined with Laura, who's one of the crew members of the Northwest Air Ambulance. Now, when you guys are attending a mission, what kind of crew attend with you? Basically, we have um, pre-hospital doctors and we have uh, critical care paramedics. Um, so we all have additional skills and training that lets us do extra things, which um, patients might not otherwise get at scene. Um, so it's all about bringing the um, care forward so stuff that they get in hospital um, we try and deliver that to the scene so it's things like advanced pain relief uh, surgical procedures we can um, put a patient under an anesthetic at the roadside so we can stabilize them um, so it's yeah just delivering extra skills so that is some very qualified people yeah, yeah. at a scene in a very short amount of yeah, yeah, yeah and is it true that you guys aren't publicly funded uh, no, it's all charity funded, 100%, uh, so we totally rely on uh, donations from the public. That is a critical service and to think that you know you guys rely on mm. on donations is insane now if you guys would like to learn more about the northwest air ambulance or if you'd like to donate you can find a link in the description below until next week my name is Safi Sprocket signing off last week on Safi Sprocket I guess Ooh. there's not really much left to do other than uh, other than ride, guys. Maybe adjust my mirrors. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, this is the part I was dreading. As I started to make my way out of the ferry port, I felt insanely excited. I generally couldn't believe that there I was with my little street bike riding through the Netherlands in the sunshine. Everything just felt magical, almost as if I was dreaming. And truth be told, there wasn't much to be particularly excited about. It was just another road in another city, littered with vehicles and street lighting, just like home. But it didn't matter, I had that rush of adventure and I felt alive. I had no idea where I was going, or where I would be sleeping, I didn't particularly care. In that moment, everything I wanted was right there in front of me, and everywhere I was going would soon arrive. Everything I needed to make that happen was with me on the bike. So I knew that roughly I wanted to get across Germany as quickly as possible and into the Polish mountain range, where the real adventure would soon begin. 
In my experience, the roads in northern Germany aren't something to be particularly marvelled at, and so I was more interested in wasting as little time as possible. The first hour riding on the right hand side felt incredibly trippy. It reminded me of when I first passed my bike test and I needed to consciously think about every single action on the road. It was no longer a reflex. I decided to take things slowly for the time being to give my brain time to adjust. However, it did eventually start to feel a little bit more natural.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, delicious. What am I doing with my life? I'm gonna be honest guys, <laughs> I'm currently questioning my life choices over a cup of tea, if you can call it that. The biscuits just won't soak up any of the tea. They're just... They're just so dry. It's 7pm. 